Let's start off by putting the dry ice into the water bottle. But the dry ice is too big. You gotta figure out a way to make it smaller then, don't you, genius? Okay, uh, can we combine dry ice plus a knife? Okay. There's water dripping from this pipe. Hmm. It looks like when the pipe burst, the water hit the doorknob and froze it in place. The water uh, actually seems almost warm. Can we rub the dry ice on the on the thing. I, I don't know. <laughs> How are we supposed to cut the dry ice? I really thought we could just use a knife and then boom, Bob's your uncle would be done with it. Hey guys, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Hmm, could have used another extra word here. Ta-da! The knife! Well, I guess the cold finally got to him. <laughs> Look at my knife! Jumpy, you're scaring me. <laughs> I could stab all of you. Nobody would ever find out. Nobody would even care. Okay, um... Can we... Let's see what we can combine stuff with. Can we combine... That. No. We combine it with this. Huh. Apparently that works. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, the dry ice is all in pieces now. Why can't we crush it with the piece of pork? Why do we have to use a piece of chicken? What was the point of that? What the hell, Junpei? You're doing it wrong. You gotta put the crushed dry ice to the water bottle. Okay, now we combine it with the water bottle. Jesus, okay. You're gonna put these pieces of dry ice into the water bottle. Just look at me. Okay. Uh, there's warm water flowing from the pipe. There's ice surrounding the doorknob. Not yet, Junpei. We're not gonna get the result we want unless you can hook that bottle to the doorknob somehow. It's gotta explode right next to the ice on the doorknob. We need to figure out a way to attach the bottle to the doorknob. Okay, what about sturdy rope? Okay, wait. Okay, do we combine it? Where, how do we combine it? I know what I'm supposed to do. I just, I don't know how to do it. Do it like this. And let's just tie a rope on here. There we go, it's a water bottle bomb. Great. Ooh, we can actually get some dialogue there. Like, Jumpy, is there a slip of paper in that meat? I think there's something written on here, but I can't read it like this. Try and pull it out, it'll probably rip. Need to defrost that. Don't think we're gonna be doing that in this room. Hmm. Can I shove my knife again? Why don't we use that rope to tie that bottle onto the doorknob? We just put some water in it, and then if we can give it a good whack with something, boom! It'll explode and break the ice off the door. What are we waiting for? I can't take this cold any longer. Okay, let's do it. Warm water dripped from the ruptured pipe near the door. Jubei pulled out the water bottle filled with dry ice, let a good amount of water fall in and then quickly sealed it up tight. The makeshift bomb complete, he tied it to the doorknob as quickly as he could manage in the cold. All right, that's set. So, uh, what do we do now? We just need to give it a little, uh, tap. The bottle's already about to pop. We just throw a rock or something at it, it'll go off all on its own. Small rock? Small rock. And Junpei looked down on the floor. Scattered across it were pieces of dry ice left over from the larger trunk he'd crushed earlier. All right, this ought to do the trick. 
He pulled his sleeve down over his hand to keep from getting burned and grabbed the chunk of dry ice. I was hoping he wouldn't, like, cover his hand. He just... Oh, God! I was really dumb. It was a pretty good size. About as big as a poodle bottle. He figured it would be just about the right size. All right, guys. Stand back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Both Santa and June looked at him with new concern. Where exactly do you expect us to hide? Genius. There really isn't... Sorry. There really isn't anywhere big enough. Yeah, there is. Look! Right here! We can hide in there! Junpei pulled open the door to the small cellar. Okay. Come on! Get inside quick! Santa and June nodded and jumped down into the hole. Junpei quickly followed. In his hand, he could feel the chill of the frozen carbon dioxide even through his sleeve. He tightened his grip, took aim, and prepared to throw. Alright, here it goes! Three, four, five... You're counting the wrong way! Oops! What the fuck happened to you, Junpei? Like, what the fuck is your deal, man? Uh, God. That is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Oh, he was joking. I, I honestly thought he was that stupid. Sorry, dude. Yep, yeah, that was that was totally a joke. That that was uh, me me not being serious. All right, for real this time, no jokes. <laughs> you guys ready? Yes. Whenever you're ready, just throw the damn thing. All right, here I go. Three, two, one. Junpei threw the chunk of dry ice as hard as he could. With the same motion, he ducked down into the cellar with Santa and June just as... Oh my god. Huh. Junpei leapt out of the cellar and ran to the door. Jumpy? The ice on the door, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. The blast must have shattered it. Yes! All right, let's see if it opens. Junpei grabbed a knob and pushed to follow his might. Oh, not a lot of might. The door gave way easily, and all three of them tumbled out of the freezer at once. Hooray! People don't say that. We're out! June, relieved, collapsed onto the floor. Move! Santa shoved past Junpei and ran straight to the grill, which he immediately grabbed. Dude, don't burn your fucking hands. Ow! God damn it! Hot, 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 hot! Fuck! Jesus, you dumbass. I'm just surrounded by morons. And I'm no exception. He proceeded to kick the grill in a futile but amusing fit of rage. But where was Lotus? It took Junpei only a moment to find her. She was sitting on the counter, idly scratching her chest. <laughs> Ugh, welcome back. I was starting to get tired of waiting for you guys. With a great yawn, Lotus lowered herself off of the counter. Junpei clenched his teeth and walked towards her. What were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh yeah? But you didn't, so everything worked out alright, didn't it? What the hell? Just kidding. Eh. You know, it might not look like it, but I was I was really like deeply worried. Don't give me that crap. I'm telling the truth. I was I mean, I cried, you know. Just I mean, what would I do without um um old uh Satan over there and Junebug, or whatever the fuck her names are. I mean, if you die, then I'd be in trouble, too. If you die, then I'd be stuck here, and I'd die, too. See? I did all I could. 
I even looked around to see if there was anything I could use to pry open the door, but I couldn't find anything. So all I could do was wait. I mean, what else did you want me to do? Call the cops? It was true that there wasn't much she could have done, but something about her tone. Junpei gritted his teeth. Fine. But there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? What? You think I closed the door on you? Why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. She was right and Junpei knew it. Without them, she'd be in very serious trouble. It seemed that an accident was the only explanation for the door's closure. Or was it? Lotus had really wanted to kill them, all she would have to, uh, to do was bar the door from the outside, and she hadn't. Well, she hadn't done anything. The most she was guilty of was laziness, or negligence, not attempted murder. Junpei swallowed his anger and did his best to apologize. Well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry I doubted you. Huh? Oh, yeah, well, that's all right. As long as you understand. Lotus looked away and twirled her hair between her fingertips. Her ve His vengeance against the grill complete. Santa swaggered back towards Junpei and Lotus. Hey, no more screwing around, you two. Break time's over. Especially you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of yours while we were freezing to death. How rude. I was plenty busy. Yeah, yeah. How about you put all that energy into something besides bitchin'? Ooh! Nice one. Let's go! Okay, so, uh, now this should be... This is a frozen piece of pork. Hey, what's that? Looks like there's a piece of paper inside it. If you try to pull it out, it might... Sorry. If you try to pull it out, it might tear. Maybe you can melt it if you put it on something warm. Something warm? Something... Warm. Oh, yeah. Didn't someone burn themselves on something earlier? Okay, let's go to the grill. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's do it. I guess I'll put this meat on the grill. Ooh, it's sizzling. Hey, what are you doing? What are you going to do if the paper burns? Come on, it'll be fine. I mean, it's not like it's going to burn right away, right? You just got to keep an eye on it. The paper will be fine. Well, they can argue all they want. I'm going to keep an eye on this pork. Cool. Looks like it's about time. I'm going to try taking the paper out. Jumpy, be careful. Sweet of her to care, but I know what I'm... Oh, ouch! See? I told you. What the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper out. It's not coming out. This thing's frozen stiff. I can't get it out. So we're going to have to cut the meat? Yeah, it looks that way. Well, it's a good thing I have a knife. Alright, I'm gonna use this knife I sharpened. Yes, I cut the pork. Awesome, Junpei. Radical, dude. Now we can cut out the paper. C plus 10 plus F. Okay, so... Let's start with this. C plus 10 plus F. Do you think it's some kind of code? Damn it! They're just screwing around! Junpei, do you know what C and F stands for? Oh my god! You think maybe it means corporate finance? Oh, I thought it was clever and funny. Eh. Okay. So C is... Okay, it's 10. So 10 is A. Uh, I guess... Let's, let's look at this closely. Hmm. No, 10 is... Or is it 16? Or 
is 16F. Oh, okay. So it looks like it could be 12 plus 16 plus uh, 14. A, B, okay, I'm gonna take a little count this on my fingers. A, B, C, D, E, F. So, okay, it's 15 plus, yeah, let's get to our calculator. Okay, it's 15 plus 16 plus 12. Two. Insert reference here. This is probably what you're supposed to use to enter the password. Maybe put it in the right number to open the other door. June pay. Maybe the note you found earlier. Yeah, I know. You don't enter those numbers? I think E is for enter and C is for clearing. So basically, when I'm ready to my answer, I press A. E. If I, so if I screw up, I just press C. Alright, let's give it a shot. Open! Sounds like metal is falling. Well, I guess that went well. Skadoosh. Yeah! The door opens! Good job, Jumpy. Saturn keycard. Let's search this one now. We'll be able to save this. This looks like a lowercase h, but the line next to it is throwing me off. This is the symbol for Saturn. Remember, there was an elevator next to the main staircase. Wasn't there a mark like this on the card reader next to it? Oh yeah, I remember that. I guess that means that card ain't gonna help us get out of this room then. I'm not sure. Why don't we try it out? Okay. Uh. Oh. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I think it's unlocked now. You did it, Jumpy. Let's get out of here. Yes, let's go. I like that door sound effect, that's nice. You found it! 